I apply it a lot. I have a lot of blush right now, but I, I love it. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and I love this makeup look. Like this is just, it's very, I do this kind of look a lot, but like all the pieces are just things that I really love, like a pink cheek, a neutral eye look with just a little bit of pink added in, bright lid, bright inner corners, neutral pinky lip. I just love it all. So I've got some good things to share with you mostly revisited favorites and yeah just some good stuff so if you're new here my name is leslie welcome i love to do favorites videos new at the drugstore reviews empties get ready with me's just a lot of fun stuff here on my channel so if you're new i would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stuff around for a while i'd love to have you here on my channel so yeah we were chatting about friday favorites so let's get to it okay so for eyes the base like neutral part of the eye look i've been grabbing for the milani what is this? Most Wanted Eyeshadow Palette, and this is in the shade 110 Partner in Crime. I also love this little type of palette in Whiskey Business, I think it's called. That one's more kind of like warm, really great mattes. This one is a little bit more on the cool tone side, but not on the grayish cool tone side because it's got this like, especially this one right here, it's just a really pretty kind of like taupey sort of pink. I love it. So I have that and this all over my lid and into my crease. And then I have just a tiny bit of this mixed with this on uh, the outer corners of my eyes. And then I'll, I'll kind of like grab these two and put them over my pencil liner. And some days I did it a little bit more smudgy. Today I didn't do that quite as much, but so good in that way. So they're great as a liner too. These are a soft kind of formula and I feel like they're not swatching well, but they're beautiful. Like it's one of those, you know, just I, some things just aren't all that impressive in a swatch, but they're great on the eyes. Actually, my blush is totally like that. The blush I'm going to share with you, definitely one of those. And I've talked about this blush many, many times. We'll get that to that in a second. Yeah, swatches aren't impressive on this, but I love it on the eyes. These two all over my lid and into my crease, and then this one in my outer corner. I find these blend really well. I find they're just a good, like, everyday formula and versatile, you know, because they're not, not pigmented, but they're not crazy pigmented either, where they're like, they take a little bit more blending and being kind of delicate with them. They're just versatile that you can kind of build them up. And they are like a silky soft formula, but a good one, like, you know, got some good like blend to them um, and they're just good. Ooh, looking at that in a swatch, that one right there, I feel like more of the kind of like, well, I'm not seeing it there, but it here I was feeling like I could see kind of like a little bit of a burgundy, sort of a wine undertone just a little bit. Am I seeing things? I like this palette and it's affordable. So that was like the main base of my eye looks that I've been kind of doing like that's the main thing that I have on but then I have other stuff mixed with it so I'll get to my blush favorites in a second because I do have some of my blush on my eyes too like in my crease I love that I love adding in a little bit of my blush into an eye look just because it it just brings it all together and I especially love that with like a just a fun pink cheek I don't know something about a pink a pink blush in an eye look just is really fun. I love it. Okay, so on my lids, I've been grabbing for these two. I have both of these on right now. I don't, I never know if like Essence still has certain products around. I feel like they kind of rotate periodically. So hopefully this isn't, this is still around, but if not, then, and you already own it, grab it out of your collection or find something similar. This is the Essence Soft Touch Eyeshadow, and this is in Bubbly Champagne. This has a really like, it's that thick, wow, thick metallic intense formula that's so good. So I have this on my lid and also on the inner corners of my eyes and I applied it with my finger just to get that really intense metallic look. It's a beautiful light golden champagne is how I would describe it. I love it. I love these kind of shadows. They're just beautiful. It catches the light. It's so gorgeous and I love it on the inner corners of the eyes. Just 
all I've already described all the things about this look like that neutral look with a little bit of pink in the crease and that really bright lid and the bright inner corner and lots of mascara and a little bit of liner I just love it I feel like it's so like opens up the eyes it's just this bright pretty flattering not over the top makeup look I just love it like I think this would be good for like a bridal look maybe not quite as intense on the cheeks on the you know pink blush but still love it okay this is the Moira chroma light shadow in 01 fairy dust so I have a little bit of this over the top oh my goodness that's beautiful look at that so this is a little bit more on the I would say icy white silver side and a little bit more shimmery like this one is more kind of metallic this one has a little bit more shimmer but still a strong metallic base to it also but you can see how this has a lot more kind of white to it gorgeous so I put this on the inner corners of my eyes sometimes too I wore this by itself so I, I wore them together and then I wore them individually and they're great so beautiful I'm obsessed with these if you haven't tried these yet I love them so much but this one is definitely my top like well I don't know my top top favorite but one of my I would say top maybe three of them it's awesome okay blush I have a couple of favorites I'm not even gonna swatch this one because it never swatches well but I love it on the cheeks I feel like all of the covergirl cheekers blushes just don't swatch well I don't know why but I love them on the face like they're just they're really good so this one is in pink candy now I will say like when I go to use this now I've had this a little bit so I would say you know if you get a new one maybe like be a little bit delicate with this at first but what I do with my blush brush with this one that I've had for a while is I really dig it in there like I get quite a bit of product on my brush and then buff it on the cheeks and I just feel like it looks so pretty I have a hair stuck to my cheek it just it's still there it's so pretty on the skin like it's a really flattering formula I apply it a lot I have a lot of blush right now but I, I love it it's just a bright beautiful pink it's that bubblegum pink it is this color like that's very accurate looking it just doesn't swatch don't know why but it blends well it looks pretty on the skin it wears well it's a beautiful bright pink so do have a little bit of this on my eyes in my crease and kind of outer corner so pretty on the eyes too it pairs really nicely with this and with those bright shades on the lid so fun and then the Juvia's Place blushed Rushi Rushi in volume four. Ooh, this is good this is so pretty so I have this on my cheeks so I applied the cheekers blush first and then kind of buffed this over the top this is like a very lavender bubblegum pink so pretty and then I have a little bit of this on my eyes in my crease I wore this less on my cheeks I wore more of this with the cheekers blush but a little tiny bit of this on the eyes so pretty brings in that little bit of a pinky look absolutely love it it's intense it is a bright pink but these are really nice they blend well they are pigmented so I would definitely not do what I described with this I would use less with these and you can always build it up this one I don't have to be as light-handed with it but if I wore this on my cheeks I would have to be very light-handed for me personally with that color but so pretty great formula beautiful I would say matte finish but not an unflattering matte it's a really pretty flattering matte these wear well and yeah this one just a tiny bit of this on the eyes so good so don't be afraid to do that it's kind of like bring in a little bit of your blush into your eye look and y'all know that I love to sometimes use eyeshadow on my cheeks too like something about that like just kind of brings the things together and it's fun to play with makeup in that way and then for lips so I've been wearing this by itself and then also these together so pretty together so I have them on together today so this is elf one of my very favorite lipsticks this is one of the satin lipsticks in effortless this is the color I feel like I couldn't think of the other day it's a beautiful pretty like it's it's a pretty kind of deep like medium deep sort of um mauve color but love it and it's pretty close to my natural lip color especially if I apply it more lightly 
So wore it by itself, wore it kind of tapped on, wore it a little bit more full on. Today I have it more as my liner. Great formula, smells good, smells like vanilla. Great packaging, a little bit fancy feeling, comfortable formula. These are amazing, I love these lipsticks. So I've worn that by itself, have it on as liner today. And then my mama gave me some of these, well my daddy too, but my mom is my, she's like, she is where I get my skincare and makeup love from. She's girly, so she got me a set of these for my birthday. I think she either got them either QVC or HSN. She loves QVC and HSN, and I do too. So these are the Tarte Maracuja Juice Juicy mm -hmm. Juicy Lip Plump. I had not tried the I don't think the lip plumps yet, and this is in the shade Primrose. Oh my goodness, like this right here, I feel like is my perfect neutral lip combo. For me personally, just with my natural lip color, this I think is just really a good combo. And I like this. I would say it is definitely that thicker, but very hydrating sort of formula, very glossy, and just feels very cooling on the lips. Like it doesn't feel tingly or uncomfortable just like almost cooling and minty or something. But look how pretty. It's kind of more on the, it's like neutral, little bit of peach, little bit of pink with it, but mixed with just a tiny bit of this as a liner, it just brings a little bit more of the pink out. And I just, I love it. I think it's flattering looking and it's so comfortable. What does it smell like? Like a, a little bit of a, I don't even know, sweet sort of a scent to it. So nice scent, but very subtle and pretty packaging to it. Yeah, so good. I'm excited about this. They just work perfectly together. All right, you guys, so those are all my favorites. So hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you have been loving or maybe not so much loving. Let me know what you've been up to recently. I would love to hear that. Ask any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video.